Well, everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the Google Pixel 9 and look at some of my favorite tricks and tips that you should definitely go and check out inside of this particular phone. Now, the very first thing I'd recommend kind of checking out and the first trick I'd recommend doing is actually within the lock screen. So I talk about this every single time, but I don't know if you know this or not, you can actually customize your lock screen and within every single Pixel phone Google's made, there's like more and more capability of editing up this particular display. So what you can do is you can go ahead and hold down on this display right here, just like on an empty spot, and you'll see a little customized lock screen button come up at the very top or at the very, very bottom. What you can do is you can tap onto that customized lock screen button, and now you can go ahead and customize your whole entire Google Pixel 9, whichever way you want to. So this is something that's actually super, super cool. And I love having phones like this because it gives you the capability of basically editing up this stuff. So now you can go and change like the font, like the way your font looks at the very front. I don't know why you want either one of these, but it can give you a little bit more of a unique design. You can also change the accent color if that's something that you know, you're into. You can also change the way that kind of stuff looks, which again is super nice to have. And then also what you can do is you can change the wallpaper on the back just quickly, just like in the background right here. So this in and of itself is also a very nice touch because it just gives you a really quick way of basically editing up your lock screen and this type of information. So this is easily one of my most favorite things and ways of basically recommending and going through and editing up with people. So that's in and of itself my first favorite trick that I recommend, you know, kind of thinking about. Now on top of that, you also have this new feature, which is Google Gemini. Now Gemini is this like, you know, AI assistant tool, which I think is really nice. And you basically enable it by holding down on this side button right up here. So you hold down on this side button and it will go ahead and basically invoke Google Gemini. So what this does is it allows you to go through and basically have this like AI assistant, which is genuinely a super nice thing. So it says, I'm Gemini, your new AI assistant from Google. I can help you write, you know, all these other things. So if you just hold down this power button, it'll essentially invoke you into Google Gemini. And this is basically what it looks like. It is kind of like your own assistant. So you can go and type to it, you can talk to it, you can create a playlist of specific songs, you can do a lot of stuff here, which is really awesome. So this, I might as well, like, you might as well go and take advantage of this because this is a Google Pixel, it's not a specific feature, but it's built in right inside of your Pixel phone. It's, you know, product made by Google, and it genuinely is a very nice thing. I think I have a video on my second channel showing how to demonstrate it more, but this is a very cool feature I'd recommend every single Google Pixel 9 owner to kind of take advantage of. Now, one of the inter most interesting things I've noticed is that Google Pixels, you know, specifically the Pixel 9, they have the 120 hertz display turned off automatically. So as soon as you go through and boot up your phone, the 120 hertz is not enabled. So what I would recommend doing is going inside of your settings application. So go inside of settings and I would recommend enabling this 120 hertz. So you can do this by going inside of your settings application right here, scrolling down into display, so clicking in display right there. And then what I'd recommend doing is finding the option at the bottom, which is smooth display. So what this smooth display option does is it allows you to go ahead and basically have this like, you know, the smooth display option and it will enable the 120 Hertz. And the difference of 120 Hertz versus 90 Hertz or 60 Hertz even is a big difference. There's a massive difference there. The jump from 60 to 120 is crazy. So I'd recommend going through kind of getting used to that. And if you're going to go ahead and use this feature, it's a really, really nice thing to have. So that right there is another super cool feature. And on top of that, while we're in settings, what I would recommend doing is also updating your Android phone. So come back into your settings. By the time you buy your Pixel 9, there's already some cool features and bug fixes that are already there. So open up your settings of your Pixel, scroll all the way down until you get into your system panel, which is right here and tap on it. And then what I'd recommend doing is scrolling all the way down one more time until you see software updates. So click on software updates. And then what I'd recommend doing here is clicking on system update and then basically updating your Google Pixel 9. This is another really big feature I'd recommend taking advantage of because what's going to allow you to happen here is it's going to allow you to basically update your Google Pixel 9. And this in and of itself is another super important thing to keep in mind here too. So I would 1 million percent recommend going through updating your system, like updating your you know phone, because that's also going to fix a lot of issues you may end up having here as well. Now, on top of that, another very big thing here is within your camera. So if you open up your camera right here, what's going to end up happening is there's, you know, the standard camera, as you probably would expect it, there's night sight and all this stuff, but there's a new feature called add me. 
So what this add me feature allows you to do is it allows you to like add yourself and other people into a photo. So you can see right here, it says leave space for yourself. Take the first photo. So this is a demonstration of it, right? So it tells you take the first photo, okay? And then after you go and take this first photo, what's going to happen is then another person comes in and like that person at the end will go through, take the photo. And then I guess it will add you into the photo. And from what I've seen, it's actually a very, very good, like it actually does a pretty good job at it. So it's a very interesting thing. This just came out for the Google Pixel 9 as well. So that's another exclusive feature specifically for the Pixels that is available on this type of phone as well, which is actually a really nice thing to have. Now, on top of that, there's also some other big things here too. I would recommend you, you know, if you're going to keep your, you know, Pixel 9 for a long time to get used to the gestures. So what this is basically is it's the lack of clicking the buttons over and over again at the bottom, but you can turn on or off whichever way you want to. So what I recommend doing here too is going up and basically, you know, so then what we can do is we can scroll down into your settings application back right here. And then you want to go into your system panel. So once right here, you're in your settings, scroll down until you see system, which is right here. And then one more time, scroll back down until you see a little option that says gestures. Now what this gestures panels allows you to do is it allows you to click right into here and then it allows you to go ahead and kind of modify your gestures and everything like that. So this in and of itself is a really cool thing because you can go through that if you like want to quickly open the camera, you can create a gesture for it. If you want to flip your camera for selfie, you can go and create a gesture for it too. But the big gesture also is there's another one. If you go inside of your display settings, which is right here, you can go and kind of choose which navigation mode you want to, you know, kind of choose for. So what you can do is you can go and click on navigation, which is right here. So tap on navigation, which is right here. And when you go ahead and kind of see these things right here, you can see you have gesture navigation and three button navigation. So from here, what you can do is you can kind of choose whichever type of navigation mode you want to go and choose. So in this case, navigation mode is good. You have, you know, your gesture, you know, three button navigation too. So you can kind of choose whichever one you actually want to prefer. But in this case, like I said, I would recommend going through and keeping on gesture navigation. On top of that, another really cool thing inside of your display settings right here too, is this option. So this is the dark theme option. If you wanna go and keep your phone on dark mode, this is probably the thing that makes the most amount of sense for a lot of people. It's kind of you know hit or miss depending on who likes it and who doesn't. But what dark mode allows you to do is it allows you to basically tint and have everything in dark mode. Now I personally like light mode for videos, but for a lot of my personal devices, I use dark mode. It saves a little bit of battery life, which is really cool, but it also helps prevent a lot of burn-in on your display because these are OLED displays, it can actually burn in pixels on your display over time. So that can be another kind of very big thing to kind of keep in mind there too. So if you're trying to go through and use a phone like that, that might be a you know decent option is to go and use you know your dark mode. And finally, one of my most favorite apps to ever use is Voice Recorder. And within your Google Pixel 9, the Voice Recorder app is also significantly better. So there's a few things, you know, it works offline, audio search, but also auto transcriptions inside of your Google Pixel phone now. So if you're going to go through and if you're going to actually start, you know, you know, recording something, what's going to happen is it's going to automatically start, you know, transcribing my audio. And you can see that as I'm, you know, as I'm talking, it will start transcribing the audio that I have and it will record the audio. This is something that is so cool and it saves probably so many people so much time having to go through and like record your audio and then put it separately and all that stuff. Like you don't even have to worry about that kind of stuff anymore, which is genuinely very, very cool. So that in and of itself is another really cool thing. I love being able to do this kind of stuff. And it's a super cool feature that you have the ability of doing here too. So from that side, that kind of covers it up there as well. Those are some of my favorite tricks and tips that you should definitely take advantage of inside of your Google Pixel 9. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.